hello welcome to my channel um, today is gonna be a little bit of a different video right here we have some spiny tail iguanas sustenosaurus have uh, a spikiosa right there and two bakeri both of these bakeri are males um, the bigger one has been picking on the smaller one and my buddy that I bought him from, he actually lost his mail over the winter. Uh, he probably was asleep with too much food in his stomach and it went bad and it killed him. Um, but he has a female now with no mate, so we're going to see if this guy is going to be big enough to breed her. He's been displaying and stuff like that. I think he may be big, big enough to produce. Um, so... Two, we're gonna kill uh, two birds with one stone. He, he's no longer gonna get picked on. And this guy gets to breed and we get to share the babies. So I'm gonna get him out. Uh, he's also the most aggressive of the three. This guy right here is actually the friendliest. And then it's followed by him. And then this guy, he doesn't really like to get touched. So I'm gonna see if I can get him out. And I have a container right there that I'm gonna put him inside of once I get him. I don't wanna grab them hard and I like to hit this one. I would like for them to just come to my hand. Let me see. I probably could get them to jump us out of here. He's trying to come out and play. He's trying to come out and play. Okay, let me come back in there. And this guy is right here. So hopefully we can get him bread. Now he's gonna grow faster because he doesn't have a male, another male to compete with. Um, me and my buddy, we poss possibly gonna do a trade. Um, he has a bigger female Ordolina than what I have. Actually, my bigger female, um, she was losing weight, so she's not at breeding, breeding uh, capacity. So maybe we we do an even trade. If not, we will just um, let him. Hopefully, he breed his female, and uh, we'll split the clutch. So I'm pick the video back up once we get to his house. All right, guys. That last clip. Um, I end up did I did go to my buddy house, but we didn't do any filming over there. We just talked some business. I dropped off the mail to him. Um, we would discuss possibly doing a trade for uh, the Ordorina. The Ordorina. And, um, but that species is very flighty. And I already have three of them. So 
so I decided not to not to go that route. So I'm just gonna use let him use use the male for a breeder loan. And if we get any eggs from that breeding, we're just gonna split the clutch 50-50. Um, but he did put them together the following day, and the female was uh, aggressive towards them, so I'm not sure if they're going to breed this year. But hopefully he gets her. Um, when he, when he introduced them, he put them inside of her cage, so he's going to try to do it the opposite and put, um, her inside of his cage to see if that makes any difference. Still got the little guy over here. Hopefully, let's check out my ornate. These guys are growing fast. But I did um, get some bad news this morning. Um, the day that I took um, that male bake ride to my buddy house, I had the big female from my side in here um, trying to get her to lay her eggs, um, but she would never dig. Um, it's like she couldn't, it's like she'd never went into labor or anything like that. Um, so I had her in there for two days, I put her in here, let her soak, she drank some water, I put her back in there. Uh, she never started digging. I had the light on and everything. So yesterday I put her back into the into the outside enclosure. And this morning when I came up from work to check on her, she passed away. I was gonna cut her open and see if I can figure out what happened, um, but I'm pretty sure it was um, an egg that probably burst on the inside. It happened to me before um, with a, another big female. It's something with the big females when they're super big and they virgins for some reason is they have problems with eggs this is my second time happening females similar size and something go wrong with the eggs inside but this girl didn't even attempt to dig so i don't know if she never went into labor I, I couldn't call it, but I thought she was gonna uh, be okay. Yesterday she seemed fine. She drank water. She just wasn't laying the eggs. But this morning she was uh, dead. So that's sad. I was really hoping that, uh, that she would pass those eggs and be okay, but it didn't work out. Okay, on a different note, um, I had this, this side right here on the right side, I had this with the pears in it, and I just switched the pears out recently. Um, this girl, this girl down here is the one that gave us eggs. Um, I'm gonna check on those as well, see if that, um, the paper towel bin on top helped them, um, helped them survive the eggs, see if they pumped back up, because they were dried out, because I missed them. Um, but this girl should be gravid. She should be gravid. She was in with a male for probably maybe like a month. So she should be gravid. And when I switched them over, the male up top, the one that um, paired with the first few metal laid eggs, I seen them actually doing some locks.
And he's usually the coolest guy. Let me see if I can pick him up. You having it? Let's see. <laughs> Touch on something else real fast. And see his reaction. Okay. Okay, there he is. Uh, bad lighting. This guy is super cool. Just have to make sure you know what's going on. But that female, she would actually bite. But I seen them lock twice, so we'll be getting some melanistics and some uh, wild type from this pair. I'm gonna make sure I have a lay band in with her so that she doesn't lay them in a dry substrate like the first female. It was in the same cage that she laid. She had the other female had. Um, she put all the all the um, substrate all the way over here because it's. The water bowl is there, and she she laid over here in the corner. I guess that's the most moisture she can get. I seen her moving the substrate, and I um, just took too long to put a lay box in there. But I'm not gonna do that again. It's my first time breeding Lacerta, so I'm learning the behavior as I go. But she's gonna lay in the lay box for sure. And they can double clutch as well. So once I have her in there for a little bit, I'm gonna switch her back out with the female um, that already laid. Once we put our weight back on, this is her down here. That's her right there. She's already starting to put her weight back on. I got another lay box in there just in case she double clutches without another breeding. <clears throat> but alright guys, I just want to give you guys an update on some of the things that's going on. Some good news, some bad news, some ho actual horrible news. I was really looking forward to that female to give me some babies because she was so big. Um, but like I said, it's the second time that a female, a big female has done it for me. The little females, the smaller females, like the average size females, they never give me a problem. They give me five clutches and stuff like that. But for some reason, the big females have a hard time. For me, at least. I had a couple of big females with no problem, but every time I have a problem, it's with a bigger female. Because if you if you look at any documentary on bearded dragons, actually in Australia, you never see any, see any as big as they are in uh, captivity. So I think keeping them leaner is actually better. Keeping them leaner is probably better than actually getting them like super big. This is the, the mom to the uh, eggs that I picked earlier. The, like maybe two weeks now, one week. She's starting to put her weight back on. And she still goes over here and guard this area. Um, the other female outside, she's still filling up. Um, once she once she start digging, I'm gonna do a video on her as well. Um, that's gonna produce some very nice babies. It's a bunch of genes in that breeding. That's that's almost everything you can get in a in a pairing. You can get leatherbacks, you can get genetic stripes, you can get zeros, 
You can get Whiplets. You can get Weiros. You can get Hypos. You can get Trans. If the male proves a Hypo. So that's going to be a very powerful breeding. And all these cages are going to get clean once these two females lay their eggs. They're looking pretty full. I'm going to show you a picture of one of them right here. Um, the girl over here. Starlight. She's right there, actually. Starting to get thin, so it's probably close to her time to lay eggs. And I've got the camera right here, so I can watch her. And when I'm watching her, I make sure I pay attention to the body just in case she drop eggs and is not inside of that lay box. So I can hurry up and get them before they dry out like the Lacerda eggs did. There you go. And this uh, substrate been staying pretty moist. I haven't put any water in here for a while. I haven't seen her go in there yet. I've seen a male go in there a couple times, but uh, she's been looking. Um, I could tell she's been looking for a spot, but the way how active she's been. So hopefully she starts to use that area so she can lay them in a place that the eggs won't dry out. Uh, she's been sleeping in this crevice for probably like three weeks now. But she used to, she used to lay on that side. So hopefully that just her getting ready to go in there next. Bianca over here, she's been looking um, chubby as well. But they both been still eating, so. They're not ready to lay quite yet, but they're getting close. I just hope they're fertile and that they go full turn because Bianca gave me eggs last year and about a week they went bad. I seen a I seen a ring in them and everything. But they still didn't last. Kept them at the same temperatures as the other eggs that I hatched. Um, so I don't know what went wrong. Maybe she was too young. Maybe the, the male sperm wasn't strong enough or something. But yes, today is currently Saturday. I'm off on Wednesdays and Thursdays. This week I'm going to be insulating the, gla the garage doors, putting styro styrofoam in these areas. Uh, then I'm going to be cleaning all these tanks, these 10 gallons. Um, in these vision cages and rearranging some of the animals. I'm going to split the Orderina pair up because the female, she's um, not ready to breed and she's been stressing out and losing a little bit of weight. But she's looking a lot better than she was. I've been feeding her a lot of bananas and making sure she drink water every day and she's starting to pump back up. Um, the male is looking beautiful. But yeah, I'm going to separate her. Get her ready for next year. I had a little baby over here as well. In this cage. And these are probably the fastest lizards in the world. So I hate to even open this thing. But I'm going to show you guys here. If you see a, something look like a lightning strike, man, that's her. Not sure where she is. She's usually under this log. Thank you. 
this on the other side. Sometimes she hides inside of this. And she's actually over there. I can see her tail. See that lightning strike? That's her right there. Looking nice and plump. That was a great appetite. Alright guys, I'm going to end this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed, turn on your notifications. So you guys can stay up to date on everything. Here's Starlight, she's out. You can see her stomach. Yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed, um, turn on the notifications um, so you guys don't miss anything. The season is starting to kick off, starting to get eggs. Um, hopefully nothing else goes bad like that last female. I'm really bummed out. She was a nice girl, a nice big girl. This guy, he'll drop, he'll jump out on me. He's a super chill lizard. They're not all like this, but he's an exception. His dad is pretty calm as well. So his dad probably passed it down. His mom is nice. I went over there and saw him at my buddy house. They, they are so big compared to him. Probably like four or five times the size. His nails are so sharp. <laughs> No scratch marks. I think I got some bananas for him. I'm gonna jump on the camera. Oh, just bite my hand. <laughs> Thought I had a banana. There was no banana, son. I'm gonna make me drop the camera. But all right, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned. Until next video, you guys have a good one.